A lot of buzz at Baylor University, one of the top learning institutions in the state of Texas, located in Waco. It's also the home of this year's Heisman Trophy winner, of course, Robert Griffin III. Its men's basketball team is 9-0 and ranked seventh in the nation. Well, its women's basketball team is even better than that. 10-0 and ranked number one in the country with the number one player in the game in six foot eight phenom Brittany Griner. No better time for a Sunday night showdown. Number one against number two, UConn, seen on ESPN. Game was sold out in advance. Gina Oriema even receiving a standing O before the game. You know what was impressive is that they were recognizing greatness. And I almost stood up. A lot of people are standing up. Brittany Griner doesn't waste any time setting the tone, getting the ball down low, and getting the jump hook to go. 9 of 15 from the field was Griner. The big rejection on Tiffany Hayes. Griner with nine blocks. Later in the half, Baylor up seven. Griner in the paint. She lives there. Finished with a jump hook. Pumped up is Brittany Griner. Baylor leads 14 to 5. Second half, UConn comes to life. Up three. Kalina Mosqueda Lewis makes the three. UConn up six. Next possession, Tiffany Hayes, two of six from three point range. It's a nine point UConn lead. Later on, Baylor down nine. Here comes Griner. Hitting the short J. Bears down seven. They were down 11 in the second half at one point, but it's a one point game under five to go. Taryn Condry knocking down the three. Baylor up two, under three minutes to go. Two point game. Griner in traffic, imposing her will late. Under a minute to go, it's an eight-point game. The Huskies are down. Griner, one of her big blocks. She had nine rebounds to go along with her 25 points. And Baylor knocking off UConn. After the game, Rebecca Lobo catching up with Baylor coach Kim Mulkey. What were the keys to make the run and then eventually hold on to this victory? Get the ball to Griner. Uh, you can't win at this level if she only has seven touches in the first half. Everything we do needs to go through her. She doesn't need to take every shot. I've got great players out there, but you must let her touch it, and then she'll find you. You know, we kept our composure. Uh, we got down 11, and, uh, you know, we never let it let it phase us. Uh, we just kept on, um, you know, trying to get defensive stops, uh, get big rebounds, um, just execute our, our offense, and, um, you know, we did that. Now, I don't think there's going to be a lot of teams that are going to come in here and be up 11 and do what we did to them for long stretches of the game. Um, so the only thing I think we're not leaving here with is a win, which really bothers us because we play to win. So Baylor stays unbeaten and gets its second win in school history as the number one team in the poll over the number two team in the poll. They're now the sixth school with multiple wins as number one over number two, and they give UConn a taste of its own medicine as UConn has twice as many such wins as any other school with ten.